solution for the fuel crisis at hand in this country. It's right in the palm of your hand. There are some powerful things happening in this country and there are some incredible opportunities that we have for positive change and one of them is creating a difference in terms of what we use for fuel. We have an opportunity now to use hemp as a fuel source instead of petroleum and we have an opportunity to be able to use it in such a way that we create no CO2 emissions in this country anymore and it's only going to take 6% of our agriculture to solve 100% of our energy needs. We have to talk about the elephant in the room because most people think that hemp is marijuana and that is a, a case of mistaken identity that hemp has suffered. So the astonishing fact about hemp is with all these amazing properties, with all the things it can be made out of, we cannot grow it in this country, but we can import it into this country. And we import it by the droves. We make textiles out of it, we have cereal made out of it, waffles, um, clothing. Um, I mean, I'm just thinking about the things that I buy that it's made out of. Um, hemp soap, I use hemp conditioner, hemp moisturizer. We have this amazing commodity in this country that could put hundreds of thousands of people to work our farmers that aren't growing tobacco anymore. We could really reinvigorate this economy if we made hemp legal. We want this commodity. We want lower gas prices, for one. Um, we talked about it earlier. Six percent of America's agriculture could be used to grow hemp, and it would solve 100 percent of our energy needs. 100 percent. Not 16 percent or less than 5 percent. 100 percent. When we talk about the history of our country and the fact that our Declaration of Independence was written on hemp paper, we sailed here from the motherland of England on sails made of hemp, rope made of hemp. And like I said, Randolph Diesel created the diesel engine itself to run on hemp oil. So this is a part of the fabric of our, our archetype. This is who we are. And talking about hemp, for me, it's very important to make sure that people really realize just even if you're not going to eat anything made out of hemp or buy anything made with hemp, you're putting gas in your car right now. If hemp can affect you on the level of putting fuel in your car, then know this. Um, hemp has no CO2 emissions whatsoever. And that is first and foremost. And the second thing is it's completely sustainable. It's grown above ground. You chop it down, you whack it down, you process it, you make it into fuel, and it grows again in 10 weeks, you've got another crop. So it's highly sustainable. It's very, very inexpensive to grow because it grows without pesticides. I mean, it's, it's an ancient, mighty wonder crop. I mean, you cannot say enough positive things about this crop. Anything you can make out of plastic can be made out of hemp. You can eat it. It's the highest plant source of available protein on the face of the earth. It's got all the omegas that fish has. And most importantly is it can be used for fuel. So the $7.5 trillion that has exited our economy over the last seven years that's gone to make cars out of silver in Saudi Arabia could be spent in this country. Our economy would be so robust. It's not trendy to be conscious. It's a necessity be, to be conscious because if we're not conscious of the choices that we're making, then the choices will be taken away and we won't have any choices anymore. So um, I don't like to be very doom and gloom because we have the answers, we've had the, we have the solutions and they're right here. And it's really important that we we celebrate this and we look at this as an opportunity rather than a crisis because it's an opportunity really for us to conserve energy, create new forms of sustainable energy, and it's a really exciting time to be alive. I just want to say thank you for being here to champion this cause through because it's time and the world is ready and the world is waiting.